Blinx is a video search engine. And what that very simply means is that you can go to Blinx.com, you can type in um, anything you're looking for, and we'll find you videos that match. Um, what makes Blinx different, of course, is the technology we use to actually achieve that match and achieve the relevance in that match. Um, and the difference that, that we offer is that we use um, deep technology to actually have computers watch and listen to the videos that we're searching for you. So um, our software uses things like speech recognition and visual analysis to actually watch the videos frame by frame, word by word, so we understand what's really going on. So when you come and do that search on Blinx, we hopefully find something that's incredibly relevant to what you're looking for. Um, and what's interesting uh, about what we've been able to do is apply that technology to the problem of advertising as well. So not only can we find a great video for a user, but when we're trying to figure out what ad to show inside a video, we can use the same technology to try and match um, you know, the possible advertisements from around, across our entire index to the video that's being watched right now. Um, we launched a system that did this, Blinks Ad Hoc, about two and a half, almost three years ago now. Um, and, and today it's actually responsible for all of the advertising that happens on our site. And what we've found, um, broadly speaking, is that it's worked very, very well. You know, we've had um, revenues at Blinks that have doubled year on year for the last um, two, almost three years now. Um, the market analysts expect us to hit around $30 million of revenue for this financial year. And I think the primary driver behind that has been this advertising targeting. Today, the, the vast majority of what we do happens on our own site. So um, what that means is um, when you do a search on Blinks and you find a bunch of videos that match, um, some of those videos are spidered links just from out there on the web that our system is aware of. If you click on one of those, you're going to go off to that site and watch that video wherever it lives, um, out there on some third party site. And we aren't involved in the advertising or the monetization of that video. We find that video for you, for you because as a user, we'd like you to be happy and hopefully come back and use us again and again. Um, but the small portion of the videos that you click on will actually be covered by a content partnership that Blinks has um, with some kind of content production or licensing company. Um, in those cases, we are involved in the monetization of that video. So when you watch that video, um, whether you watch it on Blinks or on the content partner's website, whether you watch it in our player or their player, um, the system makes a call to Blinks Ad Hoc, our advertising system, and we decide or we help provide an ad that can be shown with that video. And the format of that ad can be different. So we've actually supported 14 different formats over the last two years around this ad hoc system. But the most popular ones are pre-rolls, post-rolls, and mid-rolls. Tell us about the kinds of uh, advertisers that are working with Blinks and the kind of the CPMs that you're seeing. So we're seeing you know, everything from people like McDonald's through to you know, energy companies like PG&E on the Pacific Coast, through to um, car companies like Toyota and Mercedes, um, through to technology companies like Microsoft, all of whom are advertising on the Blinks ad hoc system. So a very, very broad range of advertisers. Um, in fact, in the last three years, we've run almost 1,000, about 850 campaigns for different advertisers um, from over 500 individual brands. So it's a very, very broad mix at this stage. Where do things stand with you guys in terms of the kind of the range that you're surfacing up or that's being looked for? Yeah, um, that's a really great question. In the last uh, month or so, in fact, we've started to release um, fairly regular numbers around the UK election, just as a sort of interesting one-off point. And we've already found fascinating trends into which Political parties are gaining credence and which aren't and which issues seem to be the most important and so on. And you should watch out for more of this from Blinks in the future. I think we'll do a lot more of this stats stuff now that we've seen that it can work quite well. The engine searches everything. So we will find everything from a UGC video of a skateboarding dog all the way through to you know, high-end, um, full-length TV content that lives on NBC.com or CBS.com. Um, so we, we cover everything. But if you look at the trends that we've seen um, over the last sort of four years, we've definitely seen a trend away from amateur and UGC content towards professional content. Um, UGC is still extremely popular, um, but it's less popular relatively than it was, say, four years ago. Um, the other thing that's definitely changed is the length of video someone is willing to watch. Now there are a growing number of sort of minority users who will actually watch 30-minute um, or hour-long shows. From a consumer video search point of view, I'd, I'd argue that we're probably the leader in the space right now, both from an audience perspective. You know, we did about 60 million uniques last month, um, but also from a technology perspective. On the big player front, um, interestingly enough, Bing has probably made the most sort of interesting steps towards the video search space. Nothing technologically um, that, op that new, but definitely a, a focus on, on what can be done there. Um, interestingly enough, Yahoo and, and Google haven't really made any major steps in the space. So they continue to, if you, if you do a Google video search, you will still typically find primarily YouTube content. It's a very kind of closed loop system.